Hey everyone, thank you for watching. Today's video I'm so excited to do because it's gonna be a new empties video. It's been a hot second since I've done an empties, so I'm gonna be going through all the products that I've used up and talk about what I would repurchase, what didn't impress me so much, and I'm just thrilled to finally be doing this so I can empty out this garbage can because it's come a bit of an eyesore in my office. Before I jump in, I do want to say there's a sponsor on today's video, and this video is sponsored by Elemis. I have a couple of their skincare products in here that I have used all the way up, and I have a few more that I will be chatting about in this video. So thank you so much to Elemis for sponsoring this, and thank you guys so much for your support, so I have these opportunities. Aries also says thank you, my dog, and let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I typically start my videos with an outfit of the day. Aries, you want to show your outfit? Come on, let's come. Show your outfit. There you are. You got your cooling shirt on. Good job, because it's so warm. We live in Las Vegas, so it's 107 degrees, so I put a cooling shirt on Aries. So she stays protected in the sun because she's a sun dog and she'll just lay there. But I'm just wearing black shorts. I have some flip flops and then just a little purple crop top on. Pretty, pretty cash, pretty casual day. I did film this eye look for my Instagram, which is March Beauty Word, and I use the new Anastasia Nouveau palette, the new Nouveau palette. So I do have a video up on YouTube with the eyeshadow palette as well, and then I did this look here for my Instagram. Like I said, we have a lot of empties to go through today, but there is a sponsor in today's video, so thank you so much to Elemis for sponsoring this. I have worked with them in the past, I've been using their skincare since my red wall days, so it has been a while. My mom really likes the brand. I continually send her some products, uh, so I'm just excited to be working with them today. But I thought this would be a good video to include our sponsorship because I do have a couple products from them that are in my empties bin. I'm going to be sharing the Fab Five products from Elemis, and two of them were in my empties bin. The first one that I have in here is their Superfood Facial Oil. So it comes in a little drop tube like this. So I do have dry skin. I, I Like I mentioned, I live in the desert, so a very dry climate here. I have dry skin, I have sensitive skin, uh, and then I am also 35. So not the most youthful, not the most mature skin. I love using a facial oil to help keep my skin really hydrated. I especially use this in the PM, but I also really enjoy a facial oil because I do gua sha almost every single night or every single day. I try to gua sha as often as I can especially because I have been having some issues with water retention because I have extremely high cortisol levels and a few other health things going on. And some of the side effects are like bloating and water retention and basically my lymphatic drainage system being clogged. <laughs> so I have been trying to gua sha to try to keep some shape to my face. Uh, and I make sure to put down a facial oil before I do that so you're not dragging the gua sha on dry skin. This oil has a blend of nine superfood oils including broccoli, rosehip, flaxseed. It's non-greasy, it's really easy to absorb and then it's gonna help plump and smooth the skin. It's also gonna help minimize dullness and enhance skin radiance. I have used this oil all the way up and then I have another one already in my bathroom, so. Facial oil is pretty key to me. So another empties that I have from them, this is their Pro Collagen Naked Cleansing Balm, and I have like scraped, <laughs> scraped and scraped and scraped. This, I don't know how many of these I've gone through, it's quite a few, that I've gone through from the line, and I really, really enjoy these. So the Pro Collagen Naked Cleansing Balm, this one is the Fragrance Free. They do also have some other options as well under the Pro Collagen line. I do have this one as well that I have started using since I finished up this one. So this is the number one bestseller from Elemis. I know so many people who use this cleansing balm. This is gonna help to remove makeup, you know, dirt, SPF, anything that's gathered on your face throughout the day. The balm, it acts as a cleansing oil and then it also hydrates the skin because it turns into more of this milky formula. It makes the skin feel cleaner without feeling like squeaky clean. It doesn't leave any sort of greasy residue and it also leaves the skin just really nice and soft. I've been using this for many years, used this one up recently, so there's a handful of different options that you can choose from for the cleansing balms for what suits you the best. A couple other products that I want to touch on, I know this is a favorite of a lot of people's as well. This is their Pro Collagen Marine Cream. So this is their best-selling anti aging day cream and it has a really nice lightweight gel texture to it. This is supposed to boost hydration up to 253% in one hour. It's formulated with powerful marine and plant active. It's going to help reduce the look of fine lines and wrinkles. Helps to improve firmness for the skin and elasticity and they now have a version that has SPF which I think is great because I love my SPF. Especially if you're someone like me who has dealt with acne and you have acne scars, you really want to make sure to use your SPF so the sunlight is not baking those into your skin. And 
and making them more permanent. I like to use it in my morning skincare routine. And I have the Pro Collagen Eye Revive Mask. This one is really fun. When I started testing this out, I love me a good eye cream and I use an eye cream morning and PM. And I was like, ooh, I like this because the consistency is like, bouncy like it's almost like a bouncy jelly it's supposed to be great for moisture and hydration on the under eyes it can be used as an overnight anti-aging mask or a hydrating under eye primer or a moisturizing balm formulated with the flash filler hyaluronic acid there's also watermelon snow algae and the antioxidant rich bush clover a very little amount of products will go a long way with this one a lot of times i specifically use it in the pm because i feel like it's so hydrating and keeps my under eyes really plump while i sleep and the last product that i have to mention are these dynamic dynamic resurfacing a facial pad. It's going to help to gently exfoliate the skin. The resurfacing pads have their patented tri-enzyme technology. This is going to help to accelerate skin's natural cell turnover. They're also going to help with dark spots, pores, uneven skin texture. And the exfoliation is working to lift away any of like the dead skin cells, increasing that cell turnover so we have brighter more youthful looking skin. So those are the Fab Five products from Elemis. I will have all of these linked down below, including the two empties that I had for this video. I wanna see what else is in my trash bin here. Let's keep it going. Right, so I have some hair products in here. I went through this whole dry shampoo. This is from Amika. This is their Perk Up Dry Shampoo. I really, really like this. So I only wash my hair once a week, maybe twice a week, but sometimes it's only once a week that I'm washing my hair. So I really like to rely on dry shampoo. I really do like the detox from Dry Bar, but this one from Amika, a lot of you are recommending it to me. So I picked it up during one of the Sephora sales and I really like it. When I had my birthday gift this month from Sephora, they had an Amika set and it came with a travel size and I was super happy about it. That's the one that I picked. I took the travel size with me when I went to New York with Angie. This is a great dry shampoo, one that I will definitely repurchase. Also in here, I go through these quite a bit. This is from Tree Hut. This is their Shea Sugar Shea Sugar Scrub. Say that three times fast. And this is the Moroccan Rose. I just get these from Target, and these are just great body exfoliators. So I just pop this one into my shower. Again, it just helps to get away of all those dead skin cells. It makes my skin look being softer and smoother. And I typically, like whenever I run out of one, I typically just grab another one from Target. So... I already have another one in my shower. From First Aid Beauty, I have their Pure Skin Face Cleanser. I really like the First Aid Beauty line as well because I do have sensitive skin. So I like this cleanser. I typically would just use it in the AM if I was wearing makeup the night before or I still feel like I just need a good face wash. It's just nice and gentle and a good thing to use in the morning. I know I've gone through a couple of these and I really do like them. So definitely something that I would keep adding to my collection. A couple products here from Drunk Elephant I have their Cream Body Cleanser and then also the Glycolic Body Lotion. Ocean. So Drunk Elephant does have some body products as well. The body cleanser, I didn't mind. I thought that it was pretty good. Like I got the job done. I used it all the way up. So I liked it. I just don't know if it's something that I feel like I would have to repurchase. For the glycolic body lotion, one thing that I noticed about this is after I would shave my legs and come out of the shower and use this, my legs would kind of sting with that glycolic lotion. So if I wasn't shaving in the shower, then I would use this. Otherwise, it just would feel kind of like tingly and uncomfortable to me. But again, I did use it all the way up. Neither of these really blew my socks off. There's some other body care brands that I like more, even stuff from Soul Body, ColourPop's brand, I really do enjoy. Kopari has some of my favorites. Tula has a really nice body lotion that I wear quite a bit. So I don't think that I would repurchase those, but they weren't bad. Products. I have the Essence, the Snail Essence here from Cozer X, their Advanced Snail 96 Muse and Power X Essence. Okay, I really like this one. I've gone through at least one other one, I'm fairly confident. I've been using this on and off throughout the years, and there's a lot of good benefits to snail mucin. I know that it sounds kind of gross, but it can actually be really good for the skin. This was on sale during the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty, I think the last one, and I don't know why I didn't think of it. And then when I finally was like, oh, duh, like I'm, because I wasn't totally out at the time, like I still had a little bit left, so I just wasn't even thinking I needed to repurchase it but I was like it's half off I should buy it and then by the time I realized it and I went to buy it it was like three in the afternoon and it was already sold out I was super bummed about that so I would definitely repurchase that one it would just be awesome to get on sale this is from sweet chef this is the ginger and vitamin c serum shot it says to brighten dark spots and un 
brighten to brightens dark spots and uneven tone okay that's what it says i bought this from target i bought this when i was really struggling with skincare i should have a skincare video coming if it's not already up it'll be coming soon it's kind of my part one on my skincare journey talking about how fertility medications really affected me um, my skin my face my acne what I did to try to control it and what that I was doing to heal my skin. So this is something that I purchased when I was like really in the depths <laughs> of going through a hard time and I heard ginger was good uh, for your face. So I bought this and I did use it all the way up, but you'll hear me talk about in that video about how I threw a lot at my face at one time, trying anything that I could do to fix the constant horrible breakouts. So I don't think that this was a bad product. I just don't know if it was the best for me to try out when I was going through that hard time. I actually found it in one of my skincare bags and it had like like just a, a tiny bit left in here and I was like, I've had this for a while. I'm just gonna toss that one in my empty spin. Another cleanser I have, this is from Pharmacy. This is their Clean B Ultra Gentle Facial Cleanser. Again, this is one that I would use in the morning just for, you know, just something like soothing on my face. I like a lot of the products from pharmacy. This one didn't necessarily blow me away. There's other products from pharmacy that I would rather repurchase, but it was a nice gentle cleanser. Uh, and then from Tatcha, I have their Rice Polish in Deep. I kind of can't believe I went through this entire thing, but I'm also kind of proud of myself at the same time. I have another mini that I got in a skincare set. It usually comes out with some good sets around holiday time, and I typically buy at least one for myself because I like a lot of their products. They're just very expensive. So yeah, I already have another smaller one in here, but I like it because it's a nice exfoliant. Like it's a powder you put out into your hands, you mix it with water to kind of make a paste. So it's an exfoliant, but it's really gentle and my skin feels so soft and smooth after I use it. So I really like this A one. few makeup products to touch on. I have the NARS Climax Mascara in here. Also the Pat Labs Dark Star Mascara. These were two mascaras that have just been open for a while. So I just needed to get rid of them. I really did like the NARS Climax. This was towards the bottom. So honestly, I've kind of forgotten about this mascara, but I really liked it at one point. I just feel like there's been so many good mascaras that I've been trying out that the Climax is a little bit forgotten. And then from Pat McGrath, the Dark Star Mascara, I thought this was decent. It wasn't anything that necessarily blew me away, but it was a fine mascara for times where like, I just need a little bit of mascara on. And then from NARS, this one makes me really sad. This is their Full Vinyl Lip Lacquer in Santo Domingo. I put this in, I think it was my chopping block video, and I just did an update on it recently, and I said, I pulled this out because I used to love this shade. I used to wear it so much. I really liked the formula and I hadn't been using it for a while. So I pulled it out like the day after I filmed my chopping block video, I tried it and the smell was really off and I'm like, ooh, I think it's just time to toss this one. I've had it for years. I've had it for a really long time, but it was such a pretty shade. Is it something that I feel like I need to repurchase right now? No, because I have so many glosses in my collection. I just bought, I don't even know how many lip products I just bought in my last Sephora haul that might already be up. And I'm like, I probably just need to chill on that, but Santo Domingo was such a pretty shade. I actually have another product from Tatcha. I was like, do I have even more than that? This is a mini. This is the deep cleanse. Again, I purchased these mini sets from Tatcha, and I usually just throw them in my shower. Like right now, I have the rice like the rice cleanser that's in my shower right now just a little mini of that. I really did like the deep cleanse though. It has like a slight exfoliant property to it, but again, nothing too much, nothing that's too harsh. Uh, and it's just like if I felt like I needed an extra like deep clean without doing like a full mask or a full exfoliator, then I would use the deep cleanse. So I really like this one. If I if I saw it in another set, I would totally grab it. I do have one more mascara in here. This is from Lawless, the one and done. This was a favorite mascara of mine and it just, like I like this one so much, but I feel like it got dethroned by the Rare Beauty. Also the Milani uh, Anti-Gravity Mascara. I've been wearing that one so much. I've also been wearing the False Lashes more, which is kind of strange for me. But the One and Done, if you're looking for a good mascara, I definitely recommend that from Lawless. It makes the lashes super long. There's no transfer to it. Just makes them darker and fuller, and it's really pretty. I have a couple different candles that I used up, but one was from ColourPop. This was their Hocus Pocus candle. Dude, I so wish this, or technically it's from Soul Body. I really wish that you could repurchase this because I liked this so much. I saw a lot of people talking about this one online. They're like, oh, I like this candle. And I'm like, really? Like, you like it a lot? And then I lit it and I was like, ooh, I like it a lot. It's a really nice one. I was quite impressed. If Soulbody comes out with more candles, I'm probably going to buy one. And then also I went through a Forever Mood. This is in cuffing season. I did review this one recently and I said I just wasn't a huge fan of it. 
uh, because I like when I light a candle, I usually light it in the morning in my office and then I go out and I do my morning routine and I come in and I like my office to have this kind of cozy, homey vibe. Some candles do it, some candles don't. This one didn't. I didn't really notice a scent after the first time that I lit it. So I was just kind of like, meh. I have a couple different fragrances. This one is from Atelier Cologne and this is their Vanille Incense. I had a little like travel size of this one. I really like this one. I would like to purchase this one again, but I feel like every time I've talked about it, it's always been out of stock. So I'm gonna check it once again, now that I found it in the bottom of my bin. I'm gonna check and see if I can find this one because I really, really do like it. I was never into fragrance for a long time and after I moved to Vegas, it was kind of like, I don't know if I wanna say a goal of mine, but I was like, I would like to get into fragrance. I would like to wear perfume more. And this one is so nice. I really like scents with vanilla in it. Uh, if you've heard me talk about fragrances before, I'm typically saying my favorites somehow have the word vanilla in it. But this one is just, I really hope that I can find that one because I would like to have it back. And then another fragrance that I have, this one is from Sol de Janeiro. This is their Brazilian Crush. This is with the Car caramelized vanilla and macadamia. So I really do enjoy these. I talked about one in, I should have a video up on like my summer staples. And I talk about another one that I believe, is it by me because I just filmed that video? No, that one has, I'm pretty sure it's vanilla and then like plum. <laughs> But that's the one that I've been using from Sol de, Sol de Janeiro, but I mentioned this one here. This was a really great fall scent because it's kind of more like warm and cozy. And I said it made me, I felt like I smelled like a candle. So like, I was A couple it. more hair products that I used up. One is from Kevin Murphy. This is the Blow Dry Ever Smooth. I got this one from my hairstylist uh, when they were doing my extensions and this was really nice. So this is if I'm gonna use heat on my hair, blow dry my hair, curl my hair, anything like that but it really does, like I would make sure to put it especially on my bangs, and then when I would do anything, it would just be very sleek and smooth, and I was like, okay, this is really nice. And I was gonna get it again, I said my extensions done, and I was gonna ask for this one, but we were talking, and I'm gonna try out the brand Alchemy, and also, I think it's K18. So those are the products that I got in like my goodie bag for getting my extensions, but, if I don't like those, I'm gonna go back to this one from Kevin Murphy. I've tried a few different products from the brand and I really do like them. And then I also used this one all the way up. This is Milkshake. This is uh, the Incredible Milk. It has 12 effects, it's a leave-in treatment for all hair types. Again, got this one from my salon. It really does smell like a milkshake, like it has that kind of vanilla scent to it. Uh, but it was really nice. This is what I would put in my hair, obviously as a leave-in treatment. I felt like it kept my extensions really nice and smooth, so I used that one all the way up. I would totally get that one again. I'm just gonna try out a few different brands here in the next coming months. From Pixie Beauty, I used up their vitamin C tonic. So I had a little mini of this. This has vitamin C and ferulic acid and it's a brightening toner. I didn't use this one so much on my face, like all over. What I was really using it for was my neck because sometimes when I cleanse my face at night, I noticed a few years ago that I was really neglecting my neck and then I would still have makeup and SPF on my, like I just wasn't cleaning it the way that I would my face. And the neck is one of our first signs that show aging. So uh, sometimes when I clean, like it's kind of hard to bring like the water and the cleanser down here. So I'll do something like a toner and I'll just put it on a pad. Like I'm currently using the ones from Three Ships, their bamboo reusable pads. So I'll put some on there and then I'll really make sure I'm getting everything cleaned off of my neck. Sometimes like on the sides of my face, it's hard to get all of that makeup off. So then I'll take something like this and just wipe it all the way off. So not something that I need to repurchase. Like I have another toner in my collection that's doing that job right now, but it was a nice product for my neck. And then I have two SPFs. These are from Biosans, the Squalene and Zinc SPF. This is definitely a favorite of mine. I've already repurchased this. I don't know, I, like I don't even know. This is probably like number eight and nine. I go through these all of the time. I'm always using SPF face, hands, neck, always super important. Squalene is one of my favorite skincare ingredients, so I like that it's included in this SPF. But other than that, that is everything. My empties bin is once again full. So we had a little variety in here, skincare, body care, hair care, and some makeup products. So I hope that you enjoyed seeing this and my little speed reviews on each of these products and what I would repurchase and what I don't think is necessary for me to repurchase. Again, thank you so much to Elemis for sponsoring this video. I will have everything linked down below. Thank you all so much for your continued support to give me these opportunities. It really does mean so much. And as always, if you enjoyed this one, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. I hope you also consider subscribing before you go and I'll see you in my next video.